Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is my review of Lego Set 75242, the Black Ace Tie Interceptor. It, it comes with uh, unknown pieces, and uh, as you can see, this is the front of the box. Inside, nothing much, but this coat here, and the and the back of the box shows all these kinds of play features, and uh, you can put in minifigures and uh, put spring-loaded missiles. So uh, let's take a closer in-depth at the set. After you build on this set, you get the three minifigs, or two minifigs and one astronomic droid, and you also get a Black Ace TIE Interceptor. This is basically what you get in the set. Now, yeah, we can see this minifigure is uh, exclusive to this set. Uh, I think so. Because it came from some sort of a Star Wars or Republic thing. And uh, this is the uh, Black Ace Tie Interceptor. You are not supposed to call it a Black Ace, Black Ace Tie Interceptor. But, you know, it, it, it's not a Black Ace Tie Interceptor. It's a Black Ace Tie Fighter, I think. Black Ace Starfighter? I don't know. So, um, before we take a look at the ship, let me give you guys a closer in-depth at the minifigures. First figure I'm going to be showing you in this set is Poe Dameron, if I pronounce it correctly. You can see he has a nice, really nice torso print with the Rebel logo on the side top. And he's uh, also got a belt going across his, uh, you know, his chest. And he comes, uh, he, he comes with a blaster and uh, both torso prints are the same and this is the back. Uh, you have this kind of, um, the, the same belt coming through at the back and nothing really much on the legs. Just the front is printed and the back is not. And when you take a look at his uh, faces, he comes with two facial expressions. One uh, looking very serious and uh, one looking very happy. Look like uh, he has just uh, finished dinner. On to the second minifigure, we have Drift. Helgoran, I think. Wait, let me see the box. Griff, Griff Helloran. Okay, Griff Helloran. Now, he is the pilot of this Black Ace TIE Interceptor. He comes with a very nice hair. You know, he's got the gel pulling the hair at the back. He got a receding hairline. His face looking very serious and nice. And let's look at the torso. Both of the torsos are uh, completely pitch, and uh, it's it's like he's wearing a how, how you call it? a singlet or something, and uh, he's got a belt going across. He's got this some sort of a, a chest chest dotting thing like you see on a on a Tie Fighter pilot, and um, yeah, on the back there should be uh, nothing really much, just uh, his belt going across again. I don't know what. What on earth is this? But uh, it's just like a whole bunch of lines going through the back of his uh, chest and uh, the leg, the, the legs, um, the Lego legs, they do not come with uh, printing. And if you put him in the Black Ace tie, tie Interceptor for the kids who are playing, you can put this helmet on. Okay, so he's like the pilot. This is a completely custom, custom helmet. This. This, I think, I bet inside the movie that he had, you know, customized the helmet in there. And uh, it comes out like this, you know, a really skelly looking TIE fighter helmet looking here. We got the two Imperial logos on the top. And uh, that's about it. And, um, and let's take a look at BB-8. Here we have our last minifigure or our only astromech droid inside the set is bb8 looking really nice around like a ball and um yeah look at him he is looking very nice uh by the way this is actually my first bb8 astronomic droid yeah this is the first time i got him so yeah let's take a look at uh the ship moving on to the ship it's the black ace tie interceptor itself now you can see this is a very very nice 
model of the TIE Interceptor. That's why in the first place I got it. And the second one was it was at a low price if you saw my vlog. And um, yeah, it really comes with really nice, you know, intercepting. I think that's why LEGO called it uh, the Black Ace TIE Interceptor. But it looks really, really nice uh, in my opinion. And um, yeah, let's let's take a look at the wings first. Now you can see here's a sharklet. I think it's a sharklet, uh, just sticking out like that. You can go down and up. Same on the other side, and you have a spring uh, spring loaded missile. And um, yeah, it comes it comes with three in here. I don't have the second one. I don't have the third one. You can put the third one right in here in this hole you can see and um, these on the side of these are the stickers right here and here we'll just go ahead and put this back oh all right so now we come in here like coming into the wings we have this some sort of weird piece right here it's like half a slab but it's cut into a triangle. Pretty weird, but yeah, it, it does the job. It's my first time. And we also have another weird piece in here, which is this one. I haven't, I never seen it before. This one as well. And this is the front of the Black Ace Titan Scepter. Quite sharp. I recommend you do not stab anyone with the end of the Black Ace Titan Scepter. Comes with two stickers at the front. Black stickers, really nice, really nice. And this is also a piece connecting these two uh, wings, I guess, how you call them like that. And we have some sort of ventilation system here, which they use this kind of slab, uh, one by two slab with with a, a empty line at uh, both sides. Then we come on to the right wing, which it looks pretty much the same and um, once you build everything you have to attach these two things so I'm not really sure but it flips up and down I'm not sure if this is a function or anything included in the set I might have to watch the Old Republic thing if it I think it's from the Old Republic I, I'm not sure and uh, this is the back it has a really big big thing here I'm, I'm not sure how you call it but let's just call it a uh let's just call it nothing yes side okay now let's look at the top here we come to the top we have these uh this i call this the engine it comes on two on the sides of the end uh the wings as well then we move on forward here we have two stickers one sticker here then we have this this is what I don't like it's empty and it looks kind of weird from a far distance and uh, I'm, I, I'm 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 not really happy I, I'm okay with it not really happy about it but I'm okay with it okay because this is a very important part because when you want to put your minifigure in here, you got to open it. So, yeah, it gives you some space. And moving on to the cockpit. Here we come into the cockpit. We have two printed uh, avionics or electronics on both sides of the cockpit, which I want to call it the panel. I, we call it the panel, okay, which is on both sides. And we have the TIE fighter window at the front. So he's going to be looking in front like this. And this is just how you close it. It's just basic. So, yes, this is the set. All right, that was the review of LEGO Set 75242, uh, ages 8 and above. Yeah, so, yeah, this is the set. It comes with three main figures, one ship. I said it for the second time. And uh, make sure you... Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy and uh, comment below if you want me to do more of these I'll be doing the tie interceptor which is this one it's already done and tomorrow I'll be uploading the A-wing and after the A-wing it will be uh, the Death Star Cannon uh, from 2020 so I want to thank you guys so much for watching and taking time to watch this video and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow guys
Bye, guys.